Okay guys, welcome back. Today we have received a little bit more info on the newest character and I think it's time to see what she can do. So let's go to Twitter and let's scroll down. Profile Scarlet Apparition Dungeon. Well, uh, let's quickly take a look at these pictures over here. Now they have, well, have changed the background. Again, this is definitely going to be a good wallpaper. Why don't you join the Midnight Angels? That way you will be one of us, my family, and so you won't leave me so easily. You know, that kind of feels like a threat a little bit, I'll be honest. Uh, going to be a very interesting character, I'm very sure of it. So, uh, let's take a look at, at this weapon blade, Concerto Element Havoc. Well, I guess that's fire. I guess they call Havoc the fire element in this game, which is uh, very nice. Uh, affiliation Huang Long, birthday August 31st, okay. Inspection report. Well, this is going to be a, a very interesting thing here. Subjects records reveal a family resonance history. Visible signs of structural mut mutation have been detected within subject's genome. Sequencing identical to the genomes of her immediate family members listed within official records. Resonance chain functionality intact, signs of abnormal restoration present, verified as a naturally awakened resonator. No obvious signs of external mutation features combined with cases in the, fami in the um, family resonance history. It is speculated that the uh, primary mutation involved the subject's genome and partial internal organs. Subject is in stable overall condition. There has been a dramatic improvement in her physical condition since her previous examination, examination, with the risk of genetic side effects greatly minimized, undertaking certain midnight ranger tasks is permitted on the condition that does not affect subject's mental state. Okay, well that's actually quite detailed. Um, this is gonna be interesting, I think it will tie in within the game's, the game's story. And definitely very interested to, to learn more about uh, about that. Overclock evaluation report. Resonance criticality. Below normal fort maintains overall stability. Mental state analysis subjects exhibit symptoms of this, uh, the, the so dissociative personality disorder which are evident in her excessive attachment to cherished objects while remaining indifferent to others when the objects she shares she cares about are perceived to be under threat this indifference can quickly transform into dangerous hostility uh oh i have a bad feeling about this one Physi physiology uh, physiological state analysis based on the subject's family resonance mutation level and uh, experience of the previous accident her current health condition pro uh, proves to be rather appealing, appalling. Overall diagnosis at this time subject to bear certain risk of overclocking, requires long-term monitoring and continued uh, um, psychotherapy. You know, they mentioned the term overclocking, which is a thing that you can do in Great Raven. So perhaps? They might be a fusion between structure and human, that's just my speculation at the moment. Uh, I guess the main story will be, uh, will reveal us the truth, but uh, very interesting description. Uh, very interesting description indeed. Makes me very curious about the overall story in this game even more. But again, uh, I believe that these characters might be a fusion between a structure and between a human. That's just my theory that I just uh, basically thought about. Okay, about dungeon, uh, what do we have here? Cherished item. Yinyu, I probably butchered that name, my apologies for that. Uh, a jade pendant which is matching set with the one belonging to uh, dungeon's elder sister, Zuyu. It holds reference to the siblings' names meaning they will never part. That's okay. I like that. The pendant changes color to indicate the degree of erosion that Ford has inflicted on the 
Where is body? The brighter the redness, the deeper the erosion. The pendant has never changed its color ever since Dungeon part, uh, parted with her sister. Reminds me on another uh, little thing from Grey Raven. When I mentioned the erosion, basically uh, one of the traits of the so-called red tide, it used to do the same thing to, uh, to, to characters in that game. Thoughts? Rover has given the Midnight Teenagers lots of help. As a thank you, you can. Uh, as a thank you, can I come along as well? I can help out. I promise. Well, that's a little bit of a spoiler there. Uh, so I, I guess in the story we might help them a lot. So yeah, uh, the developers kind of spoiled this one for us. Favorite food is long bird, crisply as long as a little long beard. Beard. Oh, I really want to give it a try. Okay, well that's. Uh, I think I know what she's talking about there. I'm not really sure. This liked food, something that tastes bitter. Uh huh. I I remember now. There's also this sweet liquid thingy. I don't really like as well. Hmm. Now what was it? A sweet liquid thingy. What? <laughs> I have no idea what she's talking about. A sweet liquid thing. I'm probably missing the joke in that one, but never mind. So here we can actually uh, take a look at the um, at the combat that that the character has. Uh, overall, she seems to have dual swords, and I think this is her ultimate skill. It looks like an ultimate skill. It does remind me on. On Lucia Dawn's gameplay, basically with the dual with the dual swords, although uh, it's not lighting element. In this case, it's havoc element or fire element. But overall, uh, I really like the the effects. Look nice, and they added a lot of detail on the character. You could see the her eyes glow, and you know, overall, I didn't think that the character will be would be like that. Uh, I expected uh, a little bit. Uh, I expected something a little bit different here. Now, where is that link to the site? There it is. For more details, please visit our official website. Let's just do that. Perhaps we will be met with more details here. Profile Scarlet Apparition. Okay. Well, here uh, we can have the I think the portrait viewing is actually better in this case. Yeah, it is. Okay. The full wallpaper is here. Very nice. Although my internet is currently a little bit slow, so my apologies for the for the long loading time. Standby pose. Well, okay. No contents of this material are for illustration purposes only. Actual depiction may vary in game. Of course, that is to be. That is to be expected. Although a little bit laggy for some reason. Okay, so this was the normal attack. From consecutive blade strikes utilized from Scroll of Sword Arts Swift Blossoms. Okay, that's interesting. Well, pretty straightforward. Okay, looks like one sword for the normal attack. The standby pose is still a little bit, a little bit laggy for me for some reason. Most likely because of my internet connection. The resonance skill. Vermilion shards consumes a certain amount of. HP to perform arts from Vermilion Shards. Thriving Blossom performs a strike of Thriving Blossoms and deals damage. Vermilion Eclipse triggers a combo of up to two strikes of Vermilion Eclipse and deals damage. Scarlet Ember triggers a combo of up to three strikes of Scarlet Ember and deals damage. Okay, that's also pretty straightforward. 
And based on... Well, this character might actually be very fun to play based on what, uh, what I see here. And you have the combat example over here as well. Resonance Liberation, well I was correct, this is the ultimate skill, okay. While Dan is hated towards her enemy Surges, while enraged performs rapid sweep attacks with dual blades and deals damage. That looks kinda threatening, not gonna lie. So, you don't want to make this character angry or... Or I guess she will hack your character to pieces, that's not something that I don't want to experience. And over here we have uh, this, the other report and the uh, other details that we have already inspected. What is this? Don't leave me behind. Well, after reading all of this, I'm fairly sure that leaving her behind is not a smart idea. Because I definitely don't like to get hacked to pieces by a bunch of swords. Overall. Uh, does look to be a very, a very interesting character. Definitely going to be a excellent game. I can tell you that much uh, already. And oh, now the standby pose is finally working properly. Okay. I actually really like how they have portrayed the the character stats and how they made this little uh, site work this way. It gives you a excellent example of what to expect from the from the character, and of course, when the game is well out in the beta test in in this month in, in two weeks, uh, I'm going to be hoping that I get picked because I very I want to try it out. Does seem to be does seem to be a very very fun. Well, with that being said, uh, it was a uh, this was the, I guess, gameplay example or skill example and a little bit more details of the new character. Again, keeping a very close eye on the game and keeping a very close eye on the game development. And with that being said, if you would like to support me, feel free to like and subscribe. And with that being said, stay safe and I'll see you next time.